name's Brittany and you're watching Mouse and Mama. Boop, 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 boop. Oh no. Boop, boop. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. That's better. If it's your first time watching, I make a lot of Disney content and a lot of mom related content and just life related content. So if that's something you're interested in, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I would really appreciate it. Today's video is a Wishes Candle haul and review. Um, if you've never heard of Wishes Candles, they make a lot of Disney themed candles and also just non-Disney themed candles. So I have a, a mixture of Disney and non-Disney. This is my first time getting them and I think um, you guys will see the things about them that are special and I will tell you the special things about them. So. I bought five of them. It was a Cyber Monday sale, I believe. And I think if you bought four, you got one free, or if you bought three, you got one free. I don't remember, but it was of the eight ounce candles. So um, first up, I'm gonna show you this one, which is called Big Top Souvenirs. And um, my ring light is sort of making it hard to see, but there we go. You can see and it's pink and it's purple and it's super pretty and um what's extra special about this size um the eight ounce candles is each one has a disney pin inside and it says we hope you're, you enjoy your treasure hunt. Always be sure to let the, the silver prize become fully visible and put out the flame before removal. And there's a little silver pouch inside of these and it's like right behind this. I see people get these in Bibbidi boxes all the time and I just couldn't wait anymore to like try and see if they were gonna send me one. I just needed to buy some myself. So I took advantage of the sale and on top of the box was this little card that's got the unbirthday cake candle on it. And um, the do's and don'ts of having a wishes candle. So um, the do's include let the hot wax reach both ends of the jar on the first burn. Very important to keep a flat burn surface, a flat wax surface. I don't know how to say that. Um, it shows you like how to trim your wick and all that stuff. And then the don'ts, burn your candle for longer than four hours at a time. That's really bad apparently for soy candles. I don't know. I don't know if it's only soy soy candles. I'm pretty sure these are soy, right? Natural soy wax, yes. Um, but anywho, it also came with these really cute stickers. So these are super cute and I can't wait to put them on something. Um, I just thought that it was a nice little touch that that was on top of the box. And then all of these were bubble wrapped inside the box, which was also filled with packing peanuts. So very protected and I was very happy about that. But I figured I would take the bubble wrap off before I show them to you because then we would have to be, you know, dealing with all that. Anyway, time for the candles. So this one I told you is called Big Top Souvenirs. And I wrote down what each one is supposed to smell like, and then I'm going to show it to you and give it a smell test. So, the big top smells like cotton candy, strawberry, and French vanilla. And I love sweet smells. I love everything that smells sweet. Not everything, but like, you know, I love sweet smells. So, let's get this open. Ooh, okay. Oh no, this one got a little messed up, but um, look at the glitter on top. All of the Wishes candles have glitter on top, which I just think is, oh gosh, I can smell it already. It smells really good. Um, but isn't that pretty? Oh gosh. What am I smelling? It's It smells like something from my childhood, but I can't put my finger on it. I can definitely tell that it's supposed to smell like candy, cotton candy. And I can tell that it smells like strawberry. Oh gosh. I wish I could remember what this smells like because it's like very distinct. But it also like reminds me of bubble gum. 
it smells really good and I'm really excited to burn this one. I will also be including clips of them burning and I will tell you if they smell good when they burn. So you will see that of this one right now. So I've had Big Top burning for a little while now and it is all blue in there. I really love how the glitter just stays there. Like it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't go away. It just stays on top. Um, and this one smells so good. I was really nervous that it wouldn't smell as good when it was burning, but it smells really good. So the next candle is this one, which is I've wanted for a long time now. And I saw um, like two people in a row get one in a Bibbidi box and I put it in my preferences, but I didn't, I never got one. So I bought one and this one is Churros Hot Fresh Baked. And everybody tells me how good the churros at Disney are. And I would love to try one someday. And it's really cute. I really like the, the packaging of these. And I'm excited to just keep the little jars when they're gone. Because I know I'm going to burn these super quickly to try to get the pins. I am not a patient person when it comes to things that I want. So we're going to smell this baby. Um, What it's supposed to smell like is cinnamon, sugary dough, maple, and vanilla, which just sounds amazing if you ask me. So let's smell it. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my gosh, I want to eat this. I want to eat this candle. Let me show you the top though. It's so pretty. It looks really yellow on camera. Um, and it is in real life, but it's also got like purple and white, but you can't really see the purple very well. But oh my gosh, this smells amazing. So this is hot fresh baked and it's been burning for like, gosh, I don't even know how long, but it hasn't been that long and it's almost across the top. So once it's all the way across, I can um, blow it out. But it smells so good. The whole room smells like churros. It smells cinnamony and sugary and it just smells so good and it makes me so happy. Um, it reminds me of fall. It's a very fall scent and I think that's because of the cinnamon. But it smells so good. Um, this one I'm kind of sad because it got a little messed up, like there's a little nick in the the packaging, but it's, it's not a big deal. It just makes me sad. Um, but this one, I'm going to let you guess who it's inspired by. It's called The Creative. And if you can, if you look at this picture, I think it's obvious, but um, it says Dreamer, Curious, Energetic. If you guys know me, you know my favorite Disney princess is Rapunzel, and I had to get the Rapunzel themed candle. There, it, it would have been a crime if I didn't. So um, this one is supposed to smell like candy, vanilla, and violets. Candy is a very broad term, so we're gonna smell it. Oh, look at that. The glitter on this one is like not set into the candle. Like some of it is, but can you see the little group of it over there? It's just like sliding around. Um, I've never seen anyone open that, open one and have that happen before, but um, I can smell it pretty strong already and it's not even like right up to my face. What is it supposed to smell like? Candy, vanilla, and violets. Whew. It just smells like candy to me. It's so sweet. It smells like if you like crushed up a bunch of Smarties and nerds together, like that's crazy. It smells so sugary. I cannot wait to see what this smells like when it's lit because that's gonna be weird. Like I've never like had a candle that smells sugary. Like obviously the churro, the churro candle smells sugary, but like it's a different kind. This one just smells like I like I want to know what burnt candy smells like, and that's what we're gonna find out right now.
You guys, this one smells way better than I thought it would. It smells really sweet, but um, I don't know. I feel like it's better when it's like burning. So next, this is one that I really wanted for a long time. Um, I would see people get these in their birthday boxes, the Bibbidi birthday boxes, and I was obsessed because I love the sprinkles on the outside. Well, on the inside, but on the outside of the candle. Um, and it's called Unbirthday Cake. And it's just, I really love, I love this. I love looking at this, you know? Um, I'm gonna be sad when this one's gone because it's really pretty. Um, and this one is supposed to smell like birthday cake and vanilla. I literally like turned this twice and I could already smell it. Oh, it's blue. Oh my gosh, that smells like straight up frosting, like vanilla frosting. Very, very sweet. There's some, there's some uh, rogue, what are they called? Sprinkles, rogue sprinkles on top. Or they are also called jimmies. Um, let me know in the comments which one you call it. But um, this one has blue glitter on top. It's better to look at it this way than this way because this way it kind of kind of hides it. But again, cannot wait to light this one. I, of course, I've had birthday cake candles before, so it'll probably just smell like a birthday cake, you know, as it should. So this one is like actually pleasantly surprising it's not too overwhelming or anything and i love seeing the sprinkles on the inside and they just kind of hey buddy <laughs> they just kind of melt yeah you can't have this there's a sprinkle stuck to the side of the wick but um yeah really loving this one this one smells really good just like all the other ones so our last one is the one that i was very excited about i say that about all of them didn't i um, I was excited about all of them, but this one is one that I had never seen before, and it is called Very Merry Treats. So it's a Christmas scent, and I really like the packaging, of course. Also, I forgot to tell you guys what the top says, but the top is also really cute, and it says, Hand poured in Rhode Island, a little magic in every candle. And then it says, wisheskandleco.com. It would be linked below. Go get yourself some candles. Treat yourself to some candles, it's never bad. Unless like you really don't want to spend the money or don't need to spend the money. Spend the money, buy candles. Oh, this one has um, the same like glitter problem. Um, the glitter is coming off, but it smells good. Oh, I forgot to tell you what it's supposed to smell like. It's supposed to smell like hot chocolate. Okay, so no, this one had a top and bottom smell, okay? The top of this smells like hot chocolate, milk, and marshmallow, which it does. If you've ever had like a, like a chocolate lip balm in your life, I used to have them when I was a kid or when I was younger, and it smells just like that. It smells like the chocolate, like the, the, like the waxy chocolate smell. Um, let me show you the, the, the glitter. See, it's white and it's just kind of falling around. But I actually really like that for this one because it reminds me of like the top of a hot chocolate, you know? Like it's got marshmallows or like whipped cream on it or something and it's like melting. It's very nice and it's super pretty. I love it. I love that they put glitter on the top. I don't know why, I just love it. But um, anyway, the bottom of this one is supposed to smell like cookie, vanilla, and oh, butter, cookie, vanilla, and sugar which sounds amazing to me. So I'm really excited to see the difference between them because I love that there's two different scents in here or many different scents, but two different sections of, of scents. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Oh, it smells good. So I lit Very Merry Treats today and it smells so good. If you hear baby songs, I'm sorry. He's watching TV. But um, it smells so chocolatey and nice. And I love it. And I wish I would have gotten more than one. Because obviously they won't be around after Christmas. But probably not. But yeah. Love this one. So that was my candle haul. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sure I will be doing another one of these 
sometime next year. Um, I'm doing a lot of swaps next year already, so like my money is going to be kind of going to those, but I'm hoping to have a little bit to play around with for myself, and um, I will definitely be buying more candles. Subscribe if you're not already, like I said, and um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you go buy some candles, and <laughs> I don't have any stock in this, by the way. They did not pay me to say any of this. I am not shilling the candles. I just love candles so much, and I know that you do too. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have the best day ever, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!